Hello everyone. We are going to start standard fourth English chapter number ten, the ninth one. Once there was the emperor in China. Okay, it is the story of China. Once there was an emperor and who was living in his big palace. And his palace had a beautiful garden. And the garden has near the garden there was a dense forest. Okay. So this is the story of a China. And there was an emperor who was ruling over the country. And in his garden there was a very huge garden, very big, very nice garden. And nearby the garden there was a dense forest. In that dense forest there was a bird. It was singing very melodiously. It was singing very melodiously. And everybody has to listen. Everybody has to listen. It's singing. And whenever anybody is singing, anybody is listening, it's, it's singing. Everybody has to forget their work. And they leave their work and they used to listen that music or that singing of that night ever. So, Emperor heard that there was the nightingale which can sing very melodiously. And because of that, he ordered that you just bring that nightingale in our royal court. So now, the courtiers want to find out where the nightingale lives. Number of people are going to come to visit his most emperor, okay, empire and his palace. But our king, our emperor want that nightingale which can sing very melodiously and he wants to listen to its music. Now, nobody knows that where the nightingale lives. So that is why one day there was a little girl. There was a poor little girl. She was from one of the royal teachers. Okay. She told to the courtiers that I know where that nightingale lives. So everybody was not believing on her that that is not so. You how you can know that where the nightingale lives? Then she explained that whenever I am tired or whenever I am disappointed during that time, I used to sit nearby that tree and I used to listen that nightingale song or melodious voice so that I forget my all the pains. So now that little, poor little girl led to all the parties. After walking a very far distance, finally they reached at the forest and one of the tree, she told that, see, that is our nightingale. Now Quartia said, a dead nightingale, how it looks, it looks very dull, it can't be much possible. Then the girl said, yes, that is the nightingale. So now that girl told to the nightingale that Dear nightingale, you are, your voice is very melodious and our emperor wants you to come at the palace and you should sing before in front of our emperor. So our nightingale said my voice is very melodious in this whole forest. But as our king want or our emperor want that I should come at the palace and to sing before him, I am ready to come. So finally, our nightingale has came in the fort in the emperor's palace. See, has it has came. 
into the emperor's palace into the emperor's palace and finally it has sat in front of the king and see here it has started the nightingale has started to sing very melodiously okay so now the nightingale starts starts to sing in a such a way that in a very melodious way that the emperor hair running down his cheek okay that em that emperor hairs after listening or as soon as he listen the nightingale song our emperor has running down his cheek so he has start to cry okay so now he ordered he ordered that the emperor ordered that to remain in the palace to the nightingale then the nightingale has to remain in the palace as well as they will provide a golden cage okay for it then the nightingale has to sit in the golden cage and each and every food very delicious food will be provided to the nightingale to eat and it has to remain in the palace only in the cage only in the golden cage now one day our king our emperor our emperor got a parcel as soon as he got the parcel it has opened the parcel and as soon as it op he opens that parcel there was a golden nightingale now see there are two nightingales the first one is live nightingale and as he read in the parcel second number it was a golden nightingale now what happened next i am going to tell you in the second part of this okay till then thank you